And then, and then, of course, we started seeing calorie restriction really uh, shrink angiogenesis in cancer cells, and it was linked to uh, the, low, the level of blood sugar in the, in, the, in the bloodstream. So we had published a paper showing there was a direct relationship between how high your blood sugar was, and these were in mice, we did linear regression analysis, and how fast the tumors would grow, and how, how, how the blood vessels would be reduced in, in conjunction uh, with, with, with lowering blood sugar. Hmm. So I said, wow, this is really interesting. Anybody ever seen anything like this before? <laughs> of course, of course, Otto Warburg had seen it a long time ago. <laughs> okay, perfect. Because I was going to ask you about some of the history here because it, I, I, I'm, again, I'm not a cancer guy, so I, I don't know all of the details here on the history. But as I started to read your stuff and, and other stuff in this realm, it wasn't that, you know, one thought I had is, okay, well, we must, uh, we thought that the uh, somatic mutation theory was the way things worked, that you accumulated these mutations in tumor suppression oncogenes. And that does appear to be the way it works, at least for some cancers to some extent. But then, you know, over time, our knowledge has grown. But then I, I started reading some of your reviews and I realized, oh, no, actually, for a long time, there's been these different competing ideas on oncogenesis and how cancer arises. It's it, There's a deeper history here than I realized. So who's this Warburg character and, and what are his ideas? 